much. You're thinking of moving to uptown here in Phoenix, Arizona. But before you do, you really want to know the pros and cons of what it's actually like living in here. And that is exactly what we're going to cover today. We're going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly. It's not filtered, not sugarcoated. Don't you hate it when it's like people do the cons and it's like secretly pros that they kind of just repackage like, nope, there's some cool parts about uptown, but there's some parts that really suck about living here. And so we really want to cover all of that to make sure you have a good feel for what it's actually like living here in uptown Arizona. We have a ton to cover, so let's go ahead and do this. first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in uptown uh here in phoenix then go ahead and subscribe well uh, all of phoenix honestly all of arizona a lot of arizona if you want to know more about all these different areas all over here go ahead and subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about what is happening in the market all around the phoenix metro area my name is samantha my team and i help people every single day just like you make their move to beautiful phoenix arizona and all the surrounding areas and we absolutely love it so if you are thinking to make a move just go ahead and reach out give us a call shoot us a text send us an email hop on a zoom call with us all of that is linked in the description below so you can connect with us we are here and happy to help whether you are moving in nine days uh, or nine months or whether you just have questions want to figure out if this is the right move for you then go ahead and reach out we are here happy to help and we'd love to help make a smooth move here to phoenix so like i said we're talking about uptown today uh which is obviously just north of downtown crazy right i know but uptown phoenix has a lot of cool stuff to offer but there are definitely some drawbacks so really when you're moving to a new area that you don't know about, I think you really deserve to know all the actual like pros, cons, good, bad, and the ugly. We're going to head back because uh, it's like 115 degrees. I'm melting, sweaty, gross, in case you couldn't tell. So let's head back to the office and actually break down this list of pros and cons once we have some nice AC. Okay, let's just jump right into these pros and cons for uptown. Like I said in the intro, we're not going to sugarcoat it. If you're trying to figure out where you want to live, it's so important to know the genuine like good, bad and ugly of an area to see if it's going to be a good fit for you. So in this list, we're not going to sugarcoat it. We're just going to tell you the facts, tell it like it is, and you can make a decision based on it. So let's start with the pros. Pro number one is that Uptown is a gorgeous area to live in. The homes are stunning, especially down Central Corridor. If you actually want to see what the homes, the neighborhoods, and all the areas look like and get a good idea for the shopping, the dining, like everything that it has to offer and price points of homes, go check out the vlog tour that we did of Uptown, but it's gorgeous. There's a whole central quarter where like the streets are lined with trees and there's walking paths and the homes look, I mean, they look like they're straight out of a movie. Like they are gorgeous. It's like life goals is to live on central corridor someday. It's so pretty, but the homes are gorgeous. The neighborhoods are gorgeous. You have lots of space, big lots, lots of yard. Um, there's lots of like grass and trees. It doesn't look like a desert. It looks like really beautiful and green and lush. And so that's a huge draw of the uptown area. But there's also like really beautiful high rises and condos. So if you want that kind of like cool penthouse living, they have that as well, as well as some really cute little townhomes and condos. So they kind of have a little bit of everything, but it's absolutely gorgeous in that area. Another huge pro of living in that area is there's so much to do. The great thing is you live really close to downtown. So you have all the amenities, the shopping, the dining, the nightlife, everything that downtown has to offer, plus everything in uptown. Lots of fun shops, uh, breweries, restaurants, lots of a couple like chain places but also a lot of really fun places that are locally owned by people uh, who just live up the street which is really cool so a lot of uh, local entrepreneurship going on as well but you have all the amenities everything you can want incredible schools everything is just right there really close so it's nice to have all of that right at your fingertips but since you're just outside of downtown you don't have to deal with as much traffic or issues parking just like all that craziness that comes with the downtown life another huge perk is it's actually a little walkable there's a whole kind of main central area with uptown plaza where you've got a ton of uh, uh, dining, shopping, all these like cool little stores and everything all right there. So if you live close enough, you can absolutely walk there. Plus right at Central and uh, Central and Camelback, you can watch the map tour if you want to know exactly where that is. But Central and Camelback is where the light rail uh, starts. And so if you want to hop on the light rail, if you live close enough, so you can literally walk to light rail, hop on it. It'll take you all through downtown, all the way to Tempe or all the way to North Phoenix, kind of depending on where you're at. So if you live close enough to the light rail, it becomes even more walkable because you can just hop on and ride that anywhere you need throughout the town. A huge plus, and this is a huge offer for families, is that there are really incredible schools in the uptown area. Some of the most highly rated schools, you have Brophy, you have Xavier, those are uh, college, high school, preparatory schools. You've got the Madison, Madison School District, which is really highly rated, especially for middle school and elementary school. So there's a lot of really great schools all in that area. So that's a huge draw for families, in addition to having like the beautiful homes and the lovely neighborhoods, you also have incredible school systems. So if that is something important to you, uptown can be a great spot. And of course, we have to talk about weather. So in the late fall, winter, and early spring, the weather here is absolutely incredible. It's gorgeous. That's a huge traffic people. That's why there's like 300 people moving to the Phoenix metro area every single day is the beautiful weather here. 
uh, during that late fall, winter, and early spring, it's gonna be 60s and 70s. You're not gonna really have to deal with a lot of rain, no snow, it's just sunny beautiful all you want to do is be outside the whole time so you really get to take advantage of all the amazing um, hiking outdoor activities the patios a lot of uh, Arizona is kind of centered around this outdoor living and this really high quality uh, living and everything like that and so when the weather is incredible we absolutely get to make the most of it and spend every minute we can outside which is awesome but with that comes the downside of summer, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute when we get to the cons. And last but not least is the quality of life. So we just kind of touched on this when we talked about weather, but there is just an emphasis on good living and quality of life in a lot of these different parts all around the Phoenix area. This is a huge draw for people. It's just having this good quality of life. There is a gym on every single corner. There's a lot of really incredible health food stores. A lot of the uh, restaurants are focused on good food uh, sourced locally. So there's just this sense of wanting to live well. There's a huge farmer's market with all these local vendors uh, that's in the uptown area. It's one of my favorite markets in town. So the uptown market happens every single week and you're gonna see tons of local vendors there. People are always out enjoying the weather, hiking all, of, all through the central quarter. There's these big walking paths. You're gonna see people out jogging and taking their dogs or kids for a walk. You can actually legally ride horses. It's a bridle path so you could ride horses on that trail. Haven't seen that happen for a while, but you could if you wanted to. So there's just a lot of opportunity uh, to kind of slow down, enjoy a good um, kind of quality of life. There's a lot of really incredible wellness centers, different spas, uh, different medical centers. So there's a really a huge focus on that in Uptown, but also in a lot of different areas of Phoenix as well. All right, now time for the good stuff. This is what you're really here for. This is what everyone wants to know is all the bad stuff, the cons, the drawbacks. So let's go ahead and jump in. First and foremost, Uptown is expensive, especially when it comes to living. Like I said, if you wanna check out the vlog tour, you can actually get an idea of how far your money will go and what uh, different budgets will, kind of what those different homes are gonna look like within different budget brackets. But a lot of the homes are fairly expensive. Now there are some townhomes and condos that are a little more affordable and stuff like that, but be careful because some of the HOAs can get very, very pricey. In our vlog tour, we looked at a really cool high rise condo. It was only about $200,000 but the HOA was $900 a month. So kind of pros and cons, but when you want to get those big, beautiful homes, you know, with a lot of uh, land and everything like that, it's going to be very expensive. A lot of the homes are close to the million dollar price point or above just because they are in a beautiful location. It's a lot of home on a lot of land. So that is kind of one of the drawbacks is just the cost of living, especially when it comes to housing. Another drawback is a lot of the homes in the area can be older and older as far as like Phoenix homes goes. So homes like 40s, 50s, and 60s, those are old homes for us. So there are a few historic districts in the uptown area where the homes were built in the 40s, 50s, um, and sometimes even 60s, but a lot of the 40s and 50s. And so when you have those older homes, there can be some problems that come with it, like uh, older electric, older plumbing, foundations, things like that. And so older homes like that can have a lot of issues. So a lot of people have come in and they've updated the homes, they've totally gutted and redone it, or they scraped it and rebuilt it from the ground up. But there are still a lot of homes in the neighborhood that are older. So that is something to look for if you are wanting to move to the area. Just kind of be aware that with older homes can come some issues. Which kind of leads me into the next con. So when you have older homes and in this area of Uptown, it's a lot of trees, uh, a lot of plants and shrubs and greenery and stuff like that. And when you have older trees, especially in Uptown, there's also a lot of citrus trees. So when you have old trees, citrus trees, and old homes here, that is the perfect storm to be dealing with roof rats. And so that is unfortunately a critter that you're gonna deal with in this part of town. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law live a little ways outside of here. They live in Arcadia, which is a town that's just a little ways outside. And it's very similar, some older homes, a lot of citrus trees or, or bigger trees as well. And they dealt with roof rats in the past. And so uh, just hearing those little critters like scurry through your like attic or walls like bleh. It's gross. So uh, there are a lot of pest control companies that will deal with it right away so you uh, can get rid of them, but just kind of be aware that is a risk that you run when you have a lot of these older trees, citrus trees, and these older homes in these neighborhoods. So you can deal with it. The pest control companies will help you get rid of them, but that is a risk just as a heads up. So keep that in mind if you're not a fan of rats. Another drawback is there's a lot of traffic and pedestrians, especially in the weekends. So when you're in this area during the weekends, there's so much happening. There's farmer's markets, there's concerts, there's events, and you're really close to downtown. So 
all of the stuff happening in downtown, everyone's going out to eat, going to events and stuff like that, that kind of bleeds into uptown a little bit. So you are gonna be seeing a lot more traffic, parking can get a little limited. And if you're wanting to go out to eat or restaurants in the area, usually there's gonna be a way, there's gonna be lines and stuff like that. So it does just get a little bit busier. They'll also block off some of the roads in the uptown area, uh, whether it's uh, different parades, they'll do different runs, charity events, things like that throughout the year. So sometimes there can be traffic or even streets and parts of the street blocked off. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. And last but not least, uh, Uptown is out of land <laughs> to build. And so all of the land in Uptown has been built on, whether it's corporate buildings, whether it's restaurants, bars, shops, homes, uh, it's been built up for a while. And so a lot of people will buy current homes or buy current buildings or shops or something and um, you know demolish it and build something new, but there's really no vacant land still available in these areas. And so homes are limited in this area because they're limited and because it is often in high demand, people really want to live in this part of town. Homes do not come on the market a lot and when they do, uh, they cost a lot. <laughs> and so when you have more demand than supply, that is just gonna continue to drive up prices. So this part of town has been expensive for a while and the fact that there's just not enough homes to go around is kind of continuing to exacerbate this issue. So it is still an expensive part of town to live in, but it is really beautiful. So. Pros and cons, that's about it that we have for this video. Hopefully this helped you get an understanding of the good and the bad of what living in Uptown is like. Like I said, if you really wanna get a good understanding of what it looks like, um, what you could get for different budgets and everything like that, if you wanna see the fun uh, Uptown Plaza and all the shops and restaurants and everything, go check out that vlog tour. We take you all around, show you everything that you need to know about Uptown so you can really get a good feel for what it's like living here. If you have any other questions about Uptown or any other areas in Phoenix, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you if you've ever been to Uptown, if you live in Uptown, what do you love about it? Or better yet, what do you hate about it? I'd love to know in the comments. So let us know and reach out anytime. If you have questions, if you're thinking of moving to Uptown or any other areas around the Phoenix Metro, we are here and happy to help. We'd love to connect with you and help you make a smooth move out here to the Phoenix area. So hope this video was helpful. And until next time, hope to see you soon.